Hi, I am Dr. Shashida G. Matta. I am a surgical gastroenterologist, having trained abroad and being a consultant in UK. I have been working with Narayana Hospital for the last seven years. I have done more than 7,000 surgeries in my life and more than 1,000 laparoscopic procedures. Today, I will talk about gallstone diseases. Uh, gallstone disease is very common in the community commonly affects the females post pregnancy and delivery and more often it is seen in the third or fourth decade of life. Gallstones do present with various set of symptoms. Common presentation is a pain in the tummy, in the upper aspect of the tummy on the right side. Sometimes the pain will be going onto the back on the in between the scapula and this pain uh, lasts for a three to four hours after eating something with uh, rich in oil or butter or ghee. This pain disappears or with a symptomatic treatment. Some people do present with severe pain in the same region lasting for a two to three days and requiring hospitalization when we will say it is a acute cholecystitis when the stone in the gallbladder is impacted in the neck of the gallbladder. Some of the times the gallstones can present with jaundice uh, where your eyes uh, will turn yellow and your skin will turn yellow. When the stones are impacted in the bile duct or uh, the stone, when the stones are uh, causing a blockage, you will end up with jaundice. Uh, some, some other time patients will present with pancreatitis when the stones are getting impacted in the bile duct and the bile refluxes into the pancreatic duct you will end up with acute pancreatitis. These are the various presentations. In elderly, we do see sometimes with gallbladder perforation or a calculus cholecystitis, which is not a different entity compared to gallstone disease. Most of this disease will have intermittent presentation lasting between few hours to one or two days. If you present with a jaundice, IRA pancreatitis, you will end up having to go through various investigations including uh, ultrasound scan, MRI scan to assess your gallbladder and the biliary tree and also sometimes endoscopic retrograde cholangiogram to retrieve the stones and followed by stent placement. These are all various options when you have present with a jaundice. If you present with pancreatitis, sometimes we do tend to do ERCP and put a stent inside the biliary system to uh, reduce the effect of uh, pancreatitis. The, if you, if most people presenting without uh, jaundice or pancreatitis will, we will be advised about surgery. Uh, it is better to have a surgery done sooner than later. If you develop complication, the cost of care will go up and if you have any of the jaundice or pancreatitis, the cost of care will also go up. The ideal uh, intervention would be when you have biliary symptoms or uh, especially colic or a pain, you need to intervene and have your gallbladder removed. 99% of the time, the gallbladder stones are removed along with the gallbladder and we do it through a laparoscopic procedure. There is what we call keyhole or a small cuts on your belly through which we do a laparoscopic cholecystectomy. 99% of the people will go home on the same day evening or the next day morning within 24 hours and they will be back to eating and drinking uh, 4 hours later and uh, be up and around 6 hours after the surgery and go back to work within 2 weeks if the recovery is uh, without any problems. There are various complications of any surgery, but most of these risks and complications can be managed. They are not life-threatening. Less than 1 in 200 to 1 in 400 can have end up with a life-threatening complication for following surgery like bile leak or a biliary injuries, which are very, very rare in experienced surgeons. Uh, if you present with a jaundice, most of the time we have to do a pan uh, ERCP to retrieve the stone followed by one or two days later with a gallbladder surgery to remove the gallbladder. If you present with a pancreatitis, we end up with uh, in the ICU to monitor you when your symptoms are better 
uh, when your uh, when your uh, pancreatitis is resolving we end up doing a surgery to remove the gallbladder within the same hospital admission thank you